Hey, today I want to tell you about my experience as the best VPN in the world. Having tested more than 20 programs from this category, I have selected the most reliable option for myself. I have been working with this for over 10 years. It has a long and attractive list of features, which I will tell you about in this short video. This information is not known to many, so watch this video to the end so as not to miss the most important thing. Today, we will talk about Pure VPN. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like it. Hong Kong-based Pure VPN has been in the VPN business since 2007, so it's no surprise it has a long list of features. More than 2,000 self-managed servers in 140 countries and 180 locations, with apps for just about everything, a wide variety of protocols, torrenting support, DNS and IP version 6 leaks, smart kill switch, split tunneling, and Bitcoin payments if you need it. Platform support is another highlight, with dedicated apps for Windows, Mac, iOS, Android and Linux, extensions for Chrome and Firefox, and other downloads and guides to help you set it up on routers, Kodi, Android TV, Amazon Fire TV, Stick, and more. There is also support for up to 10 simultaneous connections, up from 5 since our last review, and more than most providers, NordVPN has just 6. Price slightly above average $11 a month, $8.33 on a 6 month plan, and an effective $5.82 month built annually. PureVPN offered a 2 year plan for $3.33 a month. However, this has disappeared, so the service looks a little more expensive. Sign up for its annual plan and you get $70. Choose Surfshark's two-year plan and you'll pay $48. There is a small compensation in the PureVPN 7-day trial. It costs $1, but you'll have plenty of time to make sure the service does what you want it to do. And if you cancel your account before the week is up, you'll get a dollar back. A 31-day money-back guarantee is also provided for regular commercial plans, which is more generous than many others. Pure VPN's refund policy used to include some hidden conditions under which you could not get your money back if you connected more than 100 times or used more than 3 gigabytes of data, but we are happy to announce that these have been cancelled. It is now advertised as a no questions asked, no risk, and no stress money back guarantee. So if you are not happy, just send an email and ask for your money back. Transferring your money to Pure VPN is incredibly easy as the company supports almost all existing payment formats credit cards, PayPal, Bitcoin, and many other cryptocurrencies, Alipay, various gift cards, and over 150 other payment methods. While PureVPN's website advertises split tunneling, the ability to only send traffic from specific applications over a VPN, this was not immediately apparent in a Windows application. I had to turn on the beta feature setting in order to access it, which is a bit troubling as the app warns that beta features might be unstable. The help and feedback link displays the main support side in the client. Sounds like a great idea, but very poorly implemented. The window in which it is displayed is too small and cannot be resized, so there are always vertical and horizontal scroll bars and the articles are obscenely short even by FAQ standards. For example, by clicking on the question how to choose the type of network, you will receive the following advice. Go to the settings. Select the type of network, select the option you want. Well, thanks for that. The Pure VPN Ideas Forum link supposedly allows you to suggest new ideas for the service. Unfortunately, clicking on it gave nothing. Our idea is to properly test existing applications before even thinking about adding new features. The support ticket link proved to be more successful, allowing you to send a message to the support team by typing the field and clicking Submit. Very simple. Advanced features including IP version 6 leakage protection and a multi-port option that intelligently chooses the best port while avoiding any proprietary or regulated options. You can choose to use a non-native network to obtain a unique IP address and port forwarding is available if needed. I took a look at the PureVPN Android app 
and it looked like the Windows version. By choosing modes, I was able to select countries, cities, or select the target. It's more awkward to use than a regular VPN app, but you can configure it out easily enough. What's more interesting is that the Android app does not lose most of the desktop settings and options that we usually see. It has a very similar set of features, including protocol selection, emergency switch, split tunneling, port forwarding, and more. Again, if you will be using some or all of these features, it is worth giving it a try. The Pure VPN Windows app looks sane and is certainly packed with features. Whether you choose OpenVPN, UDP or TCP, the application always connects via IKE version 2. If an application cannot connect to a network with one protocol, it automatically switches to another and continues to do so until it runs out of options. Basically, there is nothing wrong with such a fallback function, but the problem is that your VPN does not tell you that it did it, nor does it show you the protocol you are using, which means there is no way to see how secure yours might be. I checked the app disable switch. In theory, this should block internet access if the VPN goes down, ensuring that your data isn't transferred over an alternate encrypted connection. But in practice, we found several problems with IKE version 2 connections. Sometimes after I forcibly closed the connection, the emergency switch would not work at all, and the real IP was open until the app could reconnect. When the kill switch worked, it would display a warning asking if I wanted to reconnect. If I said yes, the application turned on the internet connection completely and the traffic was not secured until it could connect. After repeatedly closing the IKE version 2 connection as Pure VPN tried to restore it, the app was so confused that it said the VPN was active when in fact it had been disabled, leaving me unprotected. Most VPNs claim that they allow you to access geo-blocked content from anywhere in the world, and Pure VPN is no exception. Movies, TV shows, or sporting events. Pure VPN provides instant and unlimited access to your favorite content, the site says. The apps also claim building support for many problems, including Amazon Prime Video, BBC, Hulu, Netflix, and more. It's not easy to find, it does not show up ahead of time, you have to select the popular websites option, then click the drop-down to view the website's name. But once you get it right, it's easy enough to use. Unfortunately, this prevented access to the BBC iPlayer, as the site was displaying the error, this content is not working. This is not the error message we usually see when the BBC detects VPN use, so there may be other complications. There was some good news from Netflix, where Pure VPN not only supports multiple countries, but it works as expected without weird error messages, giving us the ability to watch and stream any Netflix. The installation guide has subsections for 15 platforms, for example, and even some of those individual sections contain more content than the entire smaller VPN support site. A good article, How to set up OpenVPN, should point you to the OpenVPN website and, for example, describe how to make it work with your system. Your VPN recommends instead a non-standard and outdated version of OpenVPN.